I cannot wait for Hajj this year. Oh, uh, Mubarak, you're up. How long is the flight to Mecca? Mecca? Mate, I'm going to Riyadh. Riyadh? Why? The Kaaba's in Mecca. The Kaaba? <laughs> I ain't doing Hajj at the Kaaba. I'm going to the new place, the Mukab. Look, are you mad? You can't perform Hajj at some meaningless building. It's 2043, mate. We can perform Hajj wherever we like. Shirk began when some pious men died and then Shaytan, he came to the people, he suggested that they visit those graves to remind them of Islam. And after some time, generation after generation, Shaytan would say, why don't you hang pictures of those pious men in your house to get a constant reminder? And then some time later, Shaytan, he'd visit the next generation, the next generation, and he suggested to build idols in the name of the pious men, but of course to remind them about Allah. And eventually, the people, they began worshipping these idols and committing shirk. And this muqab, although it may be seemingly harmless, at the moment anyway. This is an opening for something much more sinister to occur in the future. These kind of things, they have to be nipped in the bud whilst they can. As we've already seen, the liberal agenda that MBS has for the Muslims in Saudi is relentless. It would be an absolute disaster if the work of our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Khulafa after him was unraveled because of some clown prince and his kufr agenda for this Ummah.